Welcome back, welcome back, game replays. Took a short break and now we're back. And this time it's time to get down into the final best of five of the night. DevM Symbiosis in the final, the grand final. Fatal, how are you feeling for these games tonight? I'm seriously pumped for the finals right now. Two great players gonna clash it out. First here on Semwa, and it's the same map rotation as before. Dual Semwa, dual uh, Argentine Crossroads, and our deciding fifth game if it goes to that on Longre. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be pretty exciting stuff. These two players. I mean, they would have been playing at like, I mean, the Armstrong Symbiosis games only finished at about 10:30 last night, so. These uh, finals must have been played seriously late, so um, we can only imagine that these guys are just, this is turning into a, just an endurance test for both of them, but I'm sure they're both used to it. They're, uh, they're both tournament veterans, Symbiosis, previous tournament winner, DevM, COH expert, and also previous tournament winner. He actually won the last uh, WMD Invitational, as well as uh, Modern Combat Mod tournament, so, um, well, I think it's... Uh, I think it's time that we stop leaving our audience in suspense and got into it. What do you think? Yeah, I agree with you. And we have to mention that I do believe that someone, a little mouse called Damn Evil Mischief Mouse, Dev M, <laughs> must have been watching our broadcast because he's now playing this tournament final on a Smurf. Which is called what exactly, Tommy? That is called Recon Randy. Uh, those of you who tuned into our cast last night when we were doing a triple cast with uh, with Amy Pilots I Funk, he uh, he named uh, the Jeep that went on to get Vet One and like a million kills and kill off like ten squads from Aliage in this insane game last night. Um, he uh, he dubbed the, the Jeep uh, Randy, Randy the Gunner, and Ralph the Driver, Ralph the um, the sort of the, the the small simple child and and Randy the the big guy, <laughs> the super gunner Randy killing off four Verma squads from Aliash. What do you say we get this finale started here? Game one on Simba between Symbiosis and DevM. Who will emerge victorious? We will shortly see after a few games, probably at least three and hopefully a best of five, going on Argentine for the last game in that case. But uh, let's get this started, shall we? Let's do it. Uh, I'm pausing in three, two, one. Unpause. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Apparently, the the numbers are wrong in the overlay. It's still uh, three, two from the Aim Strong versus oh, Sim whoops. series. Her, Should her, be her, zero, her. zero, man. There we go. Uh, just give me a quick time sync. Zero. Pulse, that's 0 0.30. Okay. Alright, I'm pausing. Count me in. Uh, 3, 2, 1, unpause. 31, 32, 33. Right it, yep. Now, with a name like Recon Randy, naming yourself after the name of a Jeep we gave last night, I'm sure Is Devin won't Jeep? disappoint. Is <laughs> He's not building a Jeep, Jeep not, not first, not first, no. Ah, oh, no Jeep so far. <laughs> uh, Symbiosis has decided to go both first on Semua. You know, there's there's different uh, tactics to playing this map. Some people go for a very aggressive fast pin with doing some form of bike MG opening, just going for the American cutoff and then pinning them in their base while they're wiring off the bottom right with their Pios or their third unit out of the quarters, which sometimes is a Volt Squad. And then basically just contain the American player from, you know, the three minute mark. Three, yeah, four minute mark. insane put pins the... on this map. Uh, as there, and yeah, we do. We see a lot of like three pioneer bike or swim starts as well. You can do. You can do some weird stuff names, here. Names gone on the scoreboard. Every time you change the scores, the why? name disappears. Why? Why does it do this to me? I'll pause at one thirty-five. It's it's trying to screw with me. Dum 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 dum. Okay, there we go. We should be back. I'll go to one thirty-five. Yep. Okay, 3, 2, 1, bing. 36, 37, 38, 39. This is going to the outtakes. 
this isn't an outtake. This is just <laughs> fucking technical stupid shit. Technical glitches. Technical twitches. More likely. Yeah. Fuck Twitch. Seriously. So, while this uh, early, smaller worker battle engagement, which not, has not even happened yet, which is not that usual on a map like Semwa, because, you know, it's a fairly large map compared to, you know, let's say, Will, where there's used a very fast engagement in the beginning, if one of the pairs are very aggressive. Oh, Randy! Meep, meep. <laughs> meep, meep. Meep, meep. Here comes the jeep. He's rolling two across the first for symbiosis. Is he gonna go 3 double MG or something crazy like that on Semwa? Well, two Volk opening, maybe he'll be doing Volk Volk Sniper MG. That's always quite a good opening. I'm just on waiting on for his man. Yeah, you go, Randy. You've stem Pios around. Yeah, he's. <laughs> oh, <laughs> takes out one nice kill. First kill. First kill of the day for Randy. How high can we go? And he did much better this time than uh, and against the game in Aljash because the first initial engagement with uh, with Randy the Jeep, he actually lost like half his health and didn't even score one kill. Oh yeah, that's right. We just have and a bit of all of a sudden just turned over. This is an interesting bit of uh, unit uh, positioning by both players here. We've got the the Volks are kind of spread out, separated by these engineers in the building. So the top Volks can't really close in on the bottom Volks, but the bottom Volks might lose this engagement because they're at close range in equal cover versus rifles. So a very close tactical exchange here, but the Jeep's coming along now to try and turn the tide of battle. A quick retreat there from Symbiosis. He saw that he was not going to win that fight, and so decided to retreat. Not a bad idea at all. But this does leave the other Volk squad on his lonesome in the building. Third unit out of the Wehrmacht quarters in an MG though, and it's moving over the Wehrmacht cutoff. He's gonna set up on the other side of the river, might use this strong house. Now he's gonna opt for trying to go for a suppress, suppress on the rifles. Setting up, he sees them. Might be a burst. Nope, oh, Devin, he starting. spotted it. He spotted it in the fog of war. I just flipped it on, and uh, he saw he saw it coming in the fog of war. We have, a, we have a little bit of a rifle flank coming in in the top. The MG is taking uh, place in the strong building, so DevM's gonna be forced to run away once again. The Jeep's actually going for something of a base rush here, or maybe a base scout. He sees that the Velma quarters is building something. Uh, he doesn't know what, but uh, he may be assuming a sniper if he knows that it's taking this long. But it's not. It's another Volk squad. Yeah. Three so, volts now and one MG. He just didn't do. He just didn't do three uh, volts after each other. He did uh, volts, volt MG, volk. and the fourth unit. I have to a uh, few seconds longer. It's, it's floating 220 manpower right now. Grenade goes in, but it nicely dodged. It was almost like Symbiosis was just waiting for it. That's how quick he was there off the mark. He was waiting for Demem to throw that first grenade, and he was easily out of there. So the first surprise factor of the grenade is gone. These rifles taking a lot of damage from these wow. volts and pioneers at close range. Those pirates were really shredding those rifles combined with the uh, with bolt. But the MG was actually forced out of a strong building by a flanking rifle squad. And the MG never got a burst off. And when he saw that the flame rangers came in as well, he had to vacate the house, pop into the other one, but that, that has no windows on the short sides of the building. Two Volks and the MG are now alone. There are more Volks across the river. Mine goes down from Symbiosis. Very nice stuff. Putting down lots of early mines is always good to see. Yes, one mine on the fuel outside of the Wehrmacht base as well. That came down very early. Ooh, if these rifles are forced to retreat. Oh, nice Ooh. mine! And it's gonna be forced to retreat through another mine, most likely. Oh, it's they're very, very low, low health, health as well. This could be really nasty. Out. Oh no, Devon's gonna hit his own mine! Oh! But he and he takes out the rifle, rifle, yeah. Totally worth it. Totally, totally worth, worth it. it. Yeah, easily worth it. But um, that's a big early loss there for Dev M. Losing a whole rifle so early on. Uh, that's really going to set him back, especially yeah, with such an early kills. tech of uh, such fast grenades. He's actually getting the triage and not opting to go for another rifle, so he's going to be stuck with just two rifles and a jeep for fighting power. Yeah, oh yeah, he went the early grenades, so three rifles, jeep, okay, so down to two rifles. Uh, both his initial engineers are still alive, I hope, so he's going to have yeah. some form of capping power, yeah. But you can still, at the same time, look at the map. You know, DevM is in a fairly comfortable situation. He's got a lot of the left side, and he also has the fuel on the bottom right. That's a nice so flank. It's not bad. That's a very nice flank there by DevM. Forces the MG to retreat straight off the bat there. Uh, but there's actually a sniper right now, so we've quite a big um, tier one from Symbiosis. What is this? Volk, Volk, MG, Volk, uh, sniper. sniper. So basically like Volk, Volk, MG, Sniper, but with an extra Volk. So a bit of, you know, mini Volk spam to go with it. Yeah, the... 
the jeep was actually topped off by an engineer on the left side tapping the fuel now and it goes in for the sniper kill it's stuck on negative cover road it forces it to retreat but it's completely outgunned against two pyos and a vol squad with only a three-man rifle squad and flanking volts at the same time but there are more rifles coming in from Devem. His second squad is there with Randy the Recon Jeep running around in the Randy center. Randy Recon, two kills now. More Flame is coming in against these low health Volks. Wow. Oh, two guys tied very quickly. Super and actually, fast casualties. Nice med kits pop. They're four men, but they're very low health, so they're going to get back a lot of their health now. Allowing Symbiosis to stay in the field for a little bit longer. And now a bunker coming up as well from Symbiosis, so a very long tier one here. Yeah, he has no doctrine chosen yet as far as I'm aware. He has tech tier 2, I know that much. He's not building it though. He does have a fairly comfortable uh, fuel income with 21, being very marked on Simwa with very great map dominance from the US player. Uh, so he has 86, 87 now in the bank, so he could easily tech up to tier 2, but he's deciding not to do it. But he hasn't seen any bars, he's seen the fast grenades. And he's seen healthy rifles coming out of the bay, so he knows there's a triage. So I guess he has another two minutes before there's going to be a motor pool. Another very That's nice mine went off on. in north. Taking down uh, an engineer who actually, are they going to retreat? No, that's their own mine. Yeah, friend of mine, he planted it after he topped off Randy the jeep. Beep beep. Here come some rifles, looks like they're going to be trying to trick a nade into this building here. Symbiosis does notice, gets out of the building nice and quickly. Doesn't Ooh, take outside. any damage. Oh, was it outside? Like was it by the door? Ah, sneaky, sneaky. But easily dodged there by Symbiosis. He's very on top of his game here. More rifles coming in from the flank. These guys might be a bit more successful. They're somewhat outgunned, but they might be able to get off a nice grenade here. He does need to be wary, though. This uh, med bunker is actually a really nice reaction replay against grenades. Oh, the Axis sniper's going to get decloaked on negative cover. He's getting the focus fired by the rifle squad, but it's down three men, two men, forces him to... Second squad comes in too late, let's stop the sniper, he's already retreating back to base and the MG was actually flipped from Symbiosis in the center, forcing off the second rifle squad instantly. And it also gives Symbiosis' medic bunker one casualty pickup. Randy is scouting. He is indeed, he's going straight into the base now, actually. I think he was going for the sniper, but he got there a little bit late. Sniper's already managed to garrison the HQ building there with some pioneers to, uh, to act as a bit of extra shielding. Yeah, exactly, but there's no tier 2 up though, which is important for him to see, because that means that he knows exactly what he, Ooh, what he can and can't build. Ooh, but defensive Shosen, making the top gunners on the base building pop up, actually almost killing Randy the Jeep. Oh, that's Very nasty. low hill. And now he can reinforce from that bunker in the middle, so Symbiosis going to have a real stronghold now, especially with all these Volks plus a med bunker to extra reinforce. And oh, Dev M has Symbiosis no tech. going for the pin. There it is, the decap. Wire coming down from Symbiosis, cutting off the flanks here. Very nice, very nice stuff here. He's really trying to seal in this pin. Pyo detonates a mine on retreat. That was the mine explosion I just heard. I was like, where was that mine? I don't see any suppressed units on my unit tab. Because they were retreating. But here comes the flank anyway, even with the wire in place uh, at the church. The event comes in from the south instead. It's a nice flank, but hill. yeah, the sniper's doing a good job of picking off the flanking units. Randy the Jeep is very low health, but he does manage to force a retreat on this MG. Oh god, so low health. Oh no! Oh, was that a one bullet from the Volk in the building? I, 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 saw, I saw one bullet get one. fired, and it was just like, perfect, you know, hit the gas or something. Hit the little gas canister that was sitting on the side of the Jeep. Because everyone knows that that's how Randy, vehicles rip explode. Randy. <laughs> rip Randy number three, isn't it? Ah, uh, sad Randy. Randy the Reed Jr. That said, it you know... Randy the third. You, know, you get, uh... Jeeps are, uh... They always have a pretty limited lifespan. They can never survive all games, so... He got decent usage Usually, out of it. Yeah, you know, now, it, this it was is interesting. interesting. Demos. We have demos. Here for a base harassment of some sort, that would be no, so No, I think funny. he I think he knows that defensive is, defensive has been chosen and he knows that demos are the only reliable way to take it out before getting howitzers. There's for There's the, the fatherland. Grenade goes nice in grenade. on the Volks, but nicely dodged, easily dodged again. No kills for those rifles. 
They just got out of the negative uh, moving modifier from. Oh, the sniper getting chased before. down though. But oh, thankfully, nice on for the fog line, manages to save him. Very nice play from Devem, even though he's a little bit under strength with the. Uh, he had to rebuild one of his rifles, he's up to three again. He's a little bit everywhere. Coming off map artillery coming down on the med bunker. Oh no, the Vols need to retreat or something. Wow. Whoa, oh, kills a medic, medic just as he spawns. <laughs> nah, that's a tough bunker. Yeah, seriously. The off map has hit almost every shell except for the first initial one. And it's done barely 50% damage to it. And that was six shells right there. 40% damage to a defensive bunker. And two Pyos moving out of the base with MG support. It's just gonna instantly repair this. That's 150 munitions down the drain. You know, he had to do something. A oh, grenade just went off in water. I've never seen that before. It just made it like a little splash. <laughs> splash, splash. Bling, bling. Well, Devon broke the pin, so he has to be commended for that. But he has no sign of any real tech. No, actually, he's getting bar. He's getting bars. Hmm. Well, with defensive shows on him, he's seen it because the Fort of Fortland had a very strong bunker. I guess he might be expecting some form of tier 2 play, and he's, he can also now see Vet Stripe on the Volk Squad. So maybe he's expecting Grants and no vehicles, so he can do without the, the AT guns right now. He needs more anti-infantry fighting power, but he should have gone for WSC in that case, I think. Maybe, I, don't, I mean, Just for the bars, bars are good versus Volk Spam. Uh, yeah. And while this isn't exactly Volk Spam, there are three of them, so there's really? plenty to kill, and there's only a single MG. Still, they are good, and at least they can combat, you know, rifles without bars versus grens, especially with uh, any form of veterancy on them, are generally not gonna really win. Especially oh, if they can't close the distance uh, if from cover to get in close range with the grens. So with the bars, they have a bit better fighting chance against grens. And, you know, he, he needs something to combat these Volks and the eventual grens that are will be produced from tier 2. With veterans, you know. There's a big push coming into the graveyard now. Three squads suppressed, though. They all got caught out by the same MG. DevM struggling to crawl through the fire. His, his grenades are just not doing it for him this game. Against for the Fardland, grenades are just so yeah. meh. Oh, and a, nice random MG, though. As well. oh, oh, that was a nice nade. Almost takes him out, but there's support veterancy now as well from Simba. Flamer went down. Flamer went down on the retreat to the MG. Oh no. Oh, and, and these rifles. rifles caught in negative cover road is gonna have to retreat. Oh, oh no, he actually gets shot down by the bullets. No. One shot because again. Oh my god. R r uh, uh, Dev M's got three units. Three? Three units. He's lost, he's lost uh, two of his rifles. He's only got oh, two God. rifles and one engineer now, while Simba still has his position. massive tier one. Yeah, against his defense position, it's like... Simba is just like, it's go time, bitch. Let's go. You got three units. I have plenty more than you do. And I've even got the veterans starting to rack up now. I'm planting mines so you can't exit your base properly. And what's this we have coming up here? We have Sturm Armory coming up from Symbiosis, so soon there's going to be a, a Puma or a Stug, and there's just going to be no real counter for it. Yeah, Stug is, uh, or Puma is going to put the nail in the coffin for DevM in this first game. Symbiosis has just played extremely solid Vermark play on Semua. The three uh, Volk MG sniper is really working for him. Yeah, this might be a build order that we see becoming more popular, you know, when people see these on streams and they think, hey, I, I like a bit of bulk, bulk spam with a sniper and an MG. Nice big yeah, tier one's always It fun. reminds me a little bit about, like, you know, Mag's place. Um, you know, pretty solid tier one. Uh, defensive play, obviously. Everybody knows Max loves defensive. And yeah, you know, I, you know it, it's a good it's, counter it's not, to It's not base. miles away, yeah. Apparently, the fast nades are really not working for Devon in this game, so m maybe the Symbiosis is just so much on top of his game, he's dodging everything. The only real kicker nade we've seen so far is on the MG, and that didn't even decrease de completely, just kill two guys. Ooh, and vet, vet one on the sniper and MG as well from Symbiosis, so a bit of support veterancy. And we, uh, we've been, we've been advocating the, the vet one so much, haven't we, in the, in the last few cars, so we've been saying how great vet one is, you know, just across the board. Maybe Symbiosis is taking tips from us shoutcasters right now. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe, you know, 
at least JVM must have seen the stream, considering he's playing under a smurf called Randy Recon. It's quite obvious that he's seen that Jeep game on our stream last night, before the finals were actually played. Uh, we did have something we love to see after we did that uh, Expert Insight episode. I think that was episode 17 or something like that. From we can the link it network. in the chat after this game. Yeah, after this game, I'll link that game. Uh, it's basically where we take one of the old school pros, experts, uh, uh, to shoutcast with us and give some tactical analysis to how things are done. And uh, Seb really, really recommended, you know, just across the board, Vet1. Just get Vet1. It's so cheap, it's so fast to take up, it doesn't cost you much. And I just saw Symbiosis, first unit out of tier 3 is the Stug, which is now going for the cutoff. And Bet1 Tanks was actually researched faster than the Stug was produced. <laughs> so it, come out, it comes out from the Sturm Armory, already Bet1. Brand new Stug, with Bet already... Very solid play from Symbiosis, and there's a GG there from DevM, he throws it in. Says oh, that he really Sniper screwed up. Oh, down at the Jeep carcass! Oh no. And a sniper was trolling around, and there's a towel from Devem. Very, very solid pl Vermark play on Semwa from Symbiosis. I'm major, majorly impressed with the play that he did this game. Now the thing is, can he do the same thing and do as an inspiring tactic and unit build up with Americans against Devem? Well, this is the thing. I mean, um, you know, he he put in one very, very good performance there, so. We'll have to just wait and see uh, for the game two, but of course size will be flipped, so it will be Symbiosis' turn to take on the US, and uh, DevM gets to try his hand at there. So uh, we will uh, be taking a quick break to switch over to those replays, and we will be back shortly.